Well, Carol, let, let's start with you. Tell me a little bit about what your concerns are and what you're hoping to change with surgery. Well, I'd like to have my bump removed. Okay. Because that's less prominent. Right. Maybe up a little bit. Okay. It hangs and have my septum um, repaired. In addition, Carol will also be having her upper eyelids rejuvenated to appear more rested and a chin implant to balance her profile. After reviewing both cases, doctor and patients agreed that rhinoplasty best suited their needs. My biggest concern is like the symmetry of my nose because in pictures and stuff it's hard to like, like I'm always, you know, trying to face the right angle because it's hard because it's so like off center. So that's like my biggest concern. That's what I'd like fix the most. And then also I have a, a bump too, just like my mom does. So I'm hopefully gonna take care of that as well. <laughs> One of the most exciting things about rhinoplasty or nose surgery is that we're able to make aesthetic improvements for patients as well as functional improvements. And Carol's a good example. Here she was having difficulty breathing through her nose, um, which bothered her uh, to varying degrees at different times, but she was also bothered by the appearance of her nose. We're able to, to improve both things at once. By definition, rhinoplasty is a facial cosmetic procedure usually performed to enhance the appearance of the nose and improve breathing. During rhinoplasty, the nasal cartilages and bones are modified or tissue is added. Carol, it was so nice meeting you. It's Catherine, it's nice meeting you too. I'm glad you guys made the trip down here to Los Angeles from Washington. And, and I'm excited to do the surgery. I feel, I feel great about our plan. I do too. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. First, Dr. Stoker began with Catherine. Let's check in with Dr. Stoker about Catherine's results. All right. Well, Catherine did just great in there. We uh, followed our plan exactly. We shortened her nose a little bit. We addressed the deviated septum and correct that so she should experience a, an easier ability to breathe through her nose in addition to having the, the tip straighten. We also refined that tip, moved the bones in together, and made it more feminine overall. But I still think it retains the, the characteristics of her family, and, and uh, overall I think it'll be a nice natural improvement for her. Following a successful procedure with daughter Catherine, Dr. Stoker began his combined surgery with Carol, a rhinoplasty, upper eyelid lift, and chin implant. I'm very happy to report that the mom did very well in her operation as well. Carol sailed through it as planned. We first did a chin augmentation using a small extended anatomical chin implant. I think that's going to be just what she needs to give her a little anti-aging effect along her jawline. Then we worked on the upper eyelids and it was a relatively subtle procedure. And I also did a little bit more on her right side in order to improve the asymmetry there. I was also able to give her a good functional uh, improvement in her airway breathing. We were able to remove a portion of the septum that was most deviated as well as open up her airways a little bit more. Overall, it's a big day of surgery for her and I'm looking forward to seeing her tomorrow morning for her first day of recovery. By undergoing the procedure together, they create a unique support system for one another. The two anticipate the experience will deepen an already strong bond.